Hey folks, Kevin here with Kev's Castle and CastleRemodel.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix a sticking door that is sticking at the top. But first, if you like this video and you feel like you get value out of it, feel free to hit the thumbs up button down below. Also, hit the subscribe button so you can get more videos like this in the future. Now let's get to the video. I'd like to start off by showing you what I mean by it sticking at the top. As you can see, it's jamming up here. There is still a, a slight gap on this side, but over here it's completely touching. And you can tell that by the scuff marks on the jam. So what that means is you can uh, also tell by this crack up above that the house is settling. And that's natural, it happens over time. What we're gonna do is we're going to adjust the door by popping the jam off of this side of the wall and leveling it out again. Holding the level up, you can see that the level is, is tracking closer to this line it's not quite centered and that's enough to get the door to to stick over time so what we're going to do is we're going to pop it off and try to level it out better now i'm removing the casing from the door i only need to remove it from the side with the knob i do not need to worry about the side that the hinges are on but i also am going to take it off of the top I will take it off of both sides, both inside the bathroom and outside of the bathroom. In order to free the jam from the frame, framing of the wall, um, we need to cut the nails. And to do that, we're going to use our Sawzall with a, a metal blade. On it. This one's pretty long. I believe it's about 12 inches, 14. And I am going to go ahead and put it on the saw, make sure it's on there. And then each location where the nails are, you can see them. Um, it's also, there's a shim there. So I'm going to cut right between the jam and the shim. So there are three locations where there were nails that attached the jam to the, sh to the wall. Um, and those locations, I've been able to pop the nails free. So now just the, the side with the handle is loose. I do not need to do anything to the side with the hinges because that's the height that I want to bring this side to. So by lifting it up, Let's do a dry fit test run and it closes much better. So now all we have to do is make sure it's level. We're going to put some screws in there. To reattach the jam to the framing of the house, I am going to be using screws. These are wood screws. They are three inches long and in order to drill into this jam, I want to make sure that it doesn't crack. So I am going to put a few pilot holes. At this point, I am putting the screws into the jam to hold it in place, hold it secure. And I will be putting shims were necessary but I only have footage of me putting one screw in here when in reality I put six in because my battery died. Now that the jam is installed uh, with the screws we can remove these hint these uh, shims and the best tool for that is going to be this oscillating tool 
All you do is hold it up flush with the jam. If you don't have an oscillating tool, you can use a hand saw as well, like a dovetail saw would work. Just be careful not to cut into the, the jam itself. The nice thing about this tool is it will, uh, you can hold it up against the jam and it's gonna make a flush cut. After all of these shims are cut flush to the wall, I am pulling all the nails out that are still in the jam and the wall. I wanna make sure all of them are removed and I also backed out the nails on the casing that I had previously removed and I, I made the ones that are still straight, I left them in the casing, but the ones that were too bent up because of what I was doing, I ended up pulling those out and I'm gonna replace them with brand new nails. Now I wanna do a dry fit just to make sure everything lines up correctly before I start nailing them back in. So I am holding the two up and making sure the corners are nice where the miters are. Um, and then I will be hitting the nails back in just in, to get it started and then finish doing the rest of the nails after that. I like to use a nail set to sink the heads of the finished nails underneath the casing. I will have links in the description below to all the products and tools that I use. And that's how you fix a door that's sticking at the top. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this, where I can show you how to turn your home into a sanctuary. If you have a question or a comment on this video, please leave it down below and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.